What is up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Today, I have a long phone call with Roman, the head engineer from Mystica, and we're talking about VR 180s. I get a deeper understanding of VR 180, especially from a stitcher and pole production specialist perspective. It's actually very different from VR 360. So uh, I want to make this video vlog uh, more like a discussion with my audience to talk about what is VR 180 meant to you. As a content creator, I just want to let you know that VR 180 is actually very different from VR 360. It's not just cut the fees in half and turn into VR 180s. That is never the case. There's different parallax challenges in VR 180 rig compared to VR 360. And right now, most of the content uh, you see right now, we, we only know about the rig with other Z Cam, K1 Pro, like the Cool Cam uh, from Kendall or E or the Lenovo VR180 rigs, or the Izuga, the custom build rig. Is that time to jump on the whole VR180 wagon uh, with the whole Google Daydream program pushing VR180? Or should you wait? If you don't want to wait, you want to just jump on the wagon, be the first content creator to make VR180 content, uh, how to actually do that, and what rig you should use, what you should look out for, watch out for, uh, how to block actors so we're not running into different parallel issue. In this video, I try to like go into deep detail to try to explain everything I know to help you as a content creator to get yourself prepared for VR 180. So one thing, really obvious thing that you need to know about is look at the rig build for VR 180 rig. They are two lens side by side and see 180. Uh, the lens can see 180 doesn't mean you get 180 uh, good footage. Actually, it's not the case. The thing about it, if somebody run across this side, uh, your eye, your head will normally turn that side to track that object to really see like what is going on. Um, in the real life because your head is actually moving from the subject but for 180 camera the camera is not going to track the object not going to move so whenever a subject move out of 180 frame uh, it's not really 180 side by side anymore think about it so if the object's in here the camera is right here uh, let's say this is the left lens and right lens it's basically it's not side by side it's actually a different like vertical distance so this lens is closer to the subject than this lens then create a really challenging parallax issue um, that you need to watch out for as a content creator like how to, to do an effective blocking to avoid like uh, your subject run out of frame or run into a frame that have a crazy parallax that would look kind of weird in post processing so we discuss all that but i also want to make this video super super practical because why not all you read about on the internet is theory what the theory behind 180 is how to achieve that like what's the rig build to achieve that but that is not really practical and dry and boring. So I want to actually use a real example, real rig, real footage um, to really discuss the whole workflow with the Mystica beta, which is unreleased yet. Uh, but I will use the beta to attempt to stitch a 180 footage, make it look semi-perfect. And I will tell you the challenge, different scenario, and, and also tell you that like, is this the right content to create as a 180 or you just should stick with 360? All that coming next.